Hey guys, welcome back again to my channel and to another video. So I was supposed to post this last week, but something happened to my footage and I completely lost my entire video. So um, I'm coming back today with a brand new video, so I hope you enjoy it. This is going to be my Project 11 for my 12 Days of Christmas DIYs. And it's going to be this easy, simple Christmas stocking. So first I used two separate fabrics to do this project. The first fabric that I actually found at Walmart was this very soft material, almost like flannel, as you can see, it's very soft. And that's what I'm gonna be using for the top of the stocking. I also have this woven fabric that I found at Walmart too, and it's almost like a canvas material, except it is woven, and I'll show you a close up of it. I folded the fabric lengthwise wrong sides together, then I used an old stocking for a pattern and cut through both layers, leaving one inch seam allowance, since this fabric unravels really easily. Then I cut two squares of soft material the width of the stocking and seven and a half inches long. So now we're just going to sample the stockings and because my material's the same on both sides I'm just going to mark the right side of my fabric so that I can keep it straight from the wrong side of my fabric. Now I place the right side of the top piece to the wrong side of the bottom piece. Both wrong sides of the fabrics should be facing up. Then I sew a one half inch seam along the top of those pieces. I also finished the other edge of the top piece by folding in one half inches twice and then sewing along that. Then fold the top piece over and iron along that seam. I repeated these steps to make eight of these, enough to make four stockings. Now I'm placing two pieces right sides together. Be sure to match up the seams of the top piece exactly. To make a hanger, I used a scrap piece of soft material that was six inches long and one and a half inches to two inches wide. I folded in twice and I sewed it together. Now I'm attaching the hanger just below the top of the stocking and placing it inside between the two pieces. Then just sew the whole piece together using a one half inch to one inch seam allowance.
and I also made these little wooden name tags to go along with the stockings. This wood piece came from Lowe's and it is one and a half inches wide and about three eighths inches thick. I cut four pieces from that board that are four and three quarter inches long. Next I used a drill with a five thirty second inch bit to drill a hole in the tops of each piece. Then I just stained those little pieces using Rust-Oleum stain in the color True Brown. Then I attached some jute twine through the holes I drilled. And then I applied some decals that I created using the Cricut Maker. And I'll leave the font names and everything I used to make these tags in the description box if you're interested in those. Thank you guys so much for watching all of my videos. I hope you enjoy them and I'll see you guys back again in the next one.